Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to be sharing with you guys a review and lip swatches of the brand new Lancome Juicy Shakers. I was so excited about these. They look so stinking cute and they're so interesting and like the whole concept is amazing. So, if you guys haven't seen, there are these new little Juicy Shakers from Lancome. I do have them on my lips right now. Um, I picked up five out of the 19 shades. I do have a lipstick and then made a juicy cocktail as they like to say at Lancome. And I put on the juicy shaker on top of it so I will tell you about that a little later on but let me tell you about them I guess let me show them to you first they're these cute little juicy shakers they look like I don't even know like little you know little martini shakers or just like little mixers like they're so adorable so I picked up five out of the 19 or 20 shades and then I did pick up a Lancome Lancome um, lipstick you can purchase them for at Sephora and they do retail for $21 each and they're 0.22 ounces and they have a total of 19 shades and it says it's an addictive lip oil with super soft cushion applicator for a wash of color with a hint of shine. Juicy, 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 oh my gosh. Juicy Shakers by Face Technology delivers the first pigmented lip oil with two distinct phases. It says the first phase features a transparent oil for a comfortable, non-sticky shine. Formulated with a blend of five nourishing oils, it treats your lips like a lip balm. Peach kernel oil, a well-known emollient, softens lips while sweet almond oil conditions. Apricot oil hydrates and cranberry oil provides rich antioxidant properties. Muscat rose oil, which is a rich in essential fatty acids helps to soothe your lips. The second phase provides a pigment for a touch of color. Shake the bottle like a cocktail shaker to emulsify them together. The cushion applicator enhances application by delivering the perfect amount of non-sticky shine and a sheer tint of color to the lips. So it does have five different oils in it, so they are so nourishing and moisturizing and hydrating for your lips, they're incredible. And so I'm really glad they came out with 19 shades with these because I'd say the first like five to seven of them that are the really light shades that you'd be like, ooh, pretty pinks and peaches and things like that, they really don't have that much pigment. You see more oil and like shine to your lips than you do the pigment. It's really like the medium shades to the darker shades that you really get some nice pigments, like the dark berry color is my favorite. So I will get to that, but let me show you guys what it looks like right now. If you guys can see, I haven't touched these. I put these on my bathroom vanity last night around like six o'clock, and then it has now been like a total of 24 hours, and you can see that they've separated, but it takes them a while to really separate like this. So if you can see this top layer, and I will insert a picture as well so you guys can see them completely separated. This is the two phases they're talking about right here. Here's the oil sitting on top, all five oils, and then you have the pigment down at the bottom, and then if you guys can see, there's like two or three little shakers in here that you can actually hear them when you shake them up so these are just like really really cool you can see all the oils in them so I think they're really fascinating so the whole point about them really is the fact that they give you the look of a lip gloss but they don't feel like a lip gloss they don't feel sticky you know lip glosses for the most part are completely pointless and then we just wear lip gloss because we like the shine and the way they look and how cute they are but they usually typically don't have like any long-lasting benefits these are you know like a combination of both, a lip gloss for vanity reasons of wanting to be cute and then an oil to nourish your lips and get really good, you know, as if you were using a lip balm type of thing. So it's the best of both worlds combined into one. You're nourishing your lips and you're getting the shine of a lip gloss at the same time, but it's not feeling like a sticky lip gloss on your lips. You can wear it alone on really natural days or you can wear it on top of a lipstick and make a little cocktail like I did today is what they like to call it. So, that reminds me, I'm forgetting like the coolest part. So all of these are 19 different shades, all of which have 19 different names and 19 different smells. Like get out of here, they all smell delicious. So whatever the cute little name is, that's what they smell like. Like this one is Melly Melon, It and these smell so good. Like it's not just like, oh, a faint little smell. It's like in your face smell. It's so good and refreshing and fragrance. So this one's Berry in Love, it smells like berries. Then we have Apricot, or Apricute, so it smells like apricots. Then you have this one, which is Berry Tail, which smells like a strawberry. And then we have Wonder Melon, which smells like watermelon. So. Not only are they cute, not only is the packaging cute, not only is the concept cute, not only is it cute how they look on your lips, but they added smells to them. Like, they smell amazing. So, I mean, and they last a while. Like, when I was wearing them, like, I kept getting whiffs of smell, like, smells. I kept getting whiffs of smells. I kept getting whiffs of, like, the way that the berries smelled or, you know, the apricots. It smelled so good. It's like a nice little surprise every once in a while. It's like, 
oh yeah, that's my lips that smell delicious. Like, oh, they're so cute. So anyways, <laughs> I'm getting distracted by the cuteness. These are so freaking cute. So anyways, I will zoom you in now and I will show you guys the close up. I will insert a picture of what they look like on the lips. And then I will also on one side show you how I swatch them and how they swatch on the hand as well. So this shade right here is Merry Melon. This next shade is Apra Cute. This shade is Berry Tail. This last shade is Wonder Melon. So alright guys, that was the lip swatches, the hand swatches, and showing you up close what those colors look like. Overall, you have to remember that these aren't going to be so super duper pigmented. I mean, they're not a lipstick. They're literally just a tinted oil, but I do think there are more pigmented than a lot of those out on the market. They're so adorable and cute. Like, you can hear how they shake up. Like, they're just an adorable concept. The sponge is cute. I think the best way to apply it is kind of on an ankle and really pushing it in. That way you're pushing out that pigment. Obviously, they're not transfer proof since they are like a lip gloss and they're oily, but what's nice is they do stay on the lips a really long time. They're very, very nourishing at the same time and they're so quick and easy you can just keep applying them and they don't feel like a lip gloss at all but yet they look cute like a lip gloss but you get the benefits of a lip balm and a lip oil so I'm so impressed with my, these my only suggestion would be that if you're gonna order any I would order darker than what you would normally if you're like oh but I love nudes I love really light pinks and really light peaches those are probably the weakest ones. Um, the ones that I picked up in kind of those peachy colors, there's definitely ones much lighter than this. So I would kind of stay away from those if you're wanting a little bit more pigmentation. Those are gonna have just looking more like a sheer, sheer lip gloss, like kind of like a clear lip gloss or an opalescent lip gloss. So if you want more pigmentation, I'd go from the medium to the dark colors and pick from there because even the really, really dark colors, they had like a cherry color and a very, very dark berry. They still come off much, much lighter. I really like those, but since it was spring and summer, I wanted like the really really fun colors I did get the one berry purple shade because you guys know me I have to have a purple in everything <laughs> can't say good enough things about these I'm so in love with them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting to see swatches and my review and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have heard about these or if you got any so far and if you're loving them because I'm loving them so much so I would love to hear what you guys think of them or what colors you're in love with so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon.